Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Just a Fun Guy, and check out my new background. If you know, don't know what my old one looks like, I've kind of grown tired of it. It was way too busy, so I decided to go with something more simple, just a little bit of a Windows throwback. Before my last background, it was Windows 98, and I couldn't decide between Windows 98 and 95, so I just chose Windows version 3.1. A little bit of a throwback. But that's why, that's not why I'm here. I'm here because I'm going to play Brooklyn Adventures Volume 2. I think it's been almost a year since I've played Volume 1, and now, I'm on a new computer, I really have new everything, virtually, so, uh, it's time I play Volume 2. Let's get my name in, and if you don't know how I'm going to do this, I'm going to make this go just a little faster. When it comes to, uh, bosses and stuff like that, I'm going to keep the game at normal speed. But when I'm playing through the bosses and there's nothing interesting happening, it's going to be sped up. So, uh, a little warning, if you weren't expecting it to be sped up somewhat, it will be. It says, Riddling Awaken. Oh boy, breakfast. But first, to the gym. It looks like, ready for your warm-up Lex? I'm sure I am ready to play, Stuffy. Looks like I have a morning warm-up since I now own the library. And I can play. And, uh, if you want to see my volume one, this will be put on a playlist. Well done. Remember, the longer the word you spell, the more hearts of damage you will cause. To fit your enemy before your health meter runs out. Great funds. <laughs> Great time for the next lesson. Have at me! Hey, Ikes, I've got nearly no health and I'm stunned. No fair! Remember, there's a potion for every situation. <laughs> Mixing it up, this is the next lesson. Way to go! Try the song for size! Holy socks! I can't spell anything with these letters. I think it's a good time to do the scrabble button. Scrabbling gives you a new set of letters, huh? But lose your current time. Just scramble now and try it out. Scramble. Wow. He's right. I'll be darned. Socks. That's actually a word. I thought it was like a Dr. Seuss made up word. Huh. Right, one last lesson. Yay, the time for breakfast! Considering I'm starting this at uh, 9.30 at night, I don't think I'm going to have breakfast. <laughs> You're going to have to defeat me to earn it. On guard! Nice. Awesome. That'll be easy. I almost forgot. Spinning long words creates powerful gym tiles. There's a ruby tile and fills with the power of fire. Use it to the word to warm it up. Ha, I got the power of fire. Warm up, Stuffy, you're hilarious. Looks like he's immune to anything. But what I use, but when I use the yeah, yeah. tile, awesome. Stuffy is on fire. Burn, baby, burn. He's all right. New Tasty 
breakfast is a great way to start any adventure. Also, breakfast time! One morning in the great library. Eek! Hickory dickory help! Hey, how do you get out of those books? Get back here! <laughs> hey, diddle diddle. Hot on the trails of Mother Goose and the Big Bad Wolf. Lex finds himself against some nursery nasties with a serious case of the grumps. I hope that we can turn those frogs upside down by beating them. Oof! How those two get out of the library? Maybe that Mother Goose knows about it. Good day to you, sir. Let me leave you with this one and a one-hit kill. I will, I will see you at the boss battle. I'm at the boss, Dish and Spoon. Hmm... Trying to think of a word... I got a couple of big words I thought I would, uh... Let's do the scramble. First attack? Not bad. One of the challenges of this game is trying to find words, which is the biggest challenge. And what I'm finding is yeah. nice. this particular book of adventures, you get all the information about the game outright. And all the gems and all the potions and all that kind of took the time in book one of the first game, which this is book five. And, uh, I'm thinking maybe this one was just a refresher being it's a continuation from uh, volume one. It's kind of a sequel. So, This is Spooner Killed. Level I leveled up. I'm an encyclopedia salesman. Bovine boosters. I can give an extra quarter heart of damage. That's a lot 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 of damage. It's not that much damage. Neat. That spoon busting, that moon jumping cow left her booster boots. Help! Help! Big Bad Wolf got me in a stew pot. Somebody, I don't want to save me! <clears throat> Old McDonald owns a farm. At the bottom of your screen, the curtains have opened to show your treasures. The treasures have a fix that improve your fighting power. I'll leave you with Shiner. And you, for the heck of it, draw. Draw. Looks like this chicken is a rust. Once again, I will see you at the boss.
I am on old MacDonald. I could spell unlisted, but the key was freaking locked. Yeah, yeah, ow, and a car. I think an old McDonald has seen better games. It's kind of like Bernie Sanders. If you haven't heard, she had a heart attack, and I'm thinking that's what I'm gonna classify old McDonald as having. Wow, was a Max Almanac adds damage to five spell adjectives. The adjective is just describes new treasure is beneficial. Now it's time for the pigs versus the wolves. I'll never find Goose Lady. I'm over here, just past the pigs. Help! Excellent. Max Omanek is only for adjectives. Omanek may not be an adjective, but Excellent. it's definitely a good way to start a chapter. I'm a stick pig. I have a feeling it's going to be the three pigs, the wolf, maybe even grandma. I don't even know. You're going to have to see through my time lapse. I am probably right because I've played this several times, but you're just going to have to see. Right, and fight the big bad wolf as the boss. Wow, very good. I and I don't think I'm gonna get a treasure when I finally kick this wolf's ass. I am going to get big bad wolf. Astonishing. And I don't think I see any curvature on this wolf. It looks like he's got a big fat belly full of meat. Then I just walked out of him. Level up bar is full. I am now a scribbler. And I got myself a new companion. Isn't that special? Good old Mama Goose. Oh, such a new boy, you saved me! I saw you, that wolf there in the great library. How'd you get there? Oh, I don't know. An open wolf chased me, and then there was a flash of light. Hmm, is there anyone who might know more? Maybe the queen, but she lives very, 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 very far away. Four of errors? Okay, thanks. I gotta get directions. I gotta go, 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 go! What kind of mother do you take me for? Not for the me, you don't! She is a mother. Now, Lex gotta be nimble and Lex gotta be quick because Lex gotta jump over that candlestick. But it looks like I can only pick two treasures on my companion this time. I am pretty good on potions. Let's continue. Are you sure you wanna come, Muscles? Of course, child. Besides, I can help. I am an old hand at kissing always butter. She essentially lays or craps out these uh well, these healing potions. Looks like the spindle is a big tool. Is that gonna take any of my gems? Again, off we go.
once again, we have reached the boss battle for the fourth time. Now, this is the first boss, but we haven't seen its face because he's obviously a giant. And those are some big boots. Both Lex and Mother Goose can make homes on those boots. I sure hope we get a survival creature attack. By the tone of that stump, it doesn't sound too happy. Oh, he's taking out for a heart, one heart at a time. I gotta be careful. And what I'm noticing is he's the first, the first boss with more than ten hearts. So he's got an extra two. And oh the horror. Ah, that was not too hard. A little scary, but not that not that hard. Wait until uh, we get to book two and three, and that's when it gets really hard. But I don't wanna spoil anything for you, so I reckon that's all I'm gonna say about the next upcoming books before we get there. Hey there, Tiger! Foxy, thank goodness! I get stuck, that guy to many game out the way brothers and name my quest! You know it, Tiger. New mini Well, I got me a new mini game. And I'm not going to do the mini games on camera at least because I won't have any time for them so I'm gonna do a mini game off camera and we can get to get to it I did a mini game off camera and I got a diamond tile most powerful tile And I'm just gonna waste it right now just because I feel like it. It's time to soak you in warm water and get you warm. Of course, you're just way too cold for that. Well, the cycle continues. Finish off Mama Bear and go into Papa Bear, but I didn't want to uh, spit up this awesome word. I just, uh, I'm not a fan of beating up any women, animal women, human women, women, women of any kind, but when they're attacking me in a video game, they're going down. Doesn't matter who you are, you're going down if you attack me in a video game. But I thought Mama Bear was a nightmare, Papa Bears could be even worse. Spell tornadoes to get rid of my crystal tile before he puffles it. Scramble. Wow. Rico 
point, there we go. Sorry for my lack of talking. It is getting pretty late and I'm getting pretty tired. Finish them off right now. Use a want and dead. Looks like I've leveled up and I'm a level six. Thanks, Swinger. And now I have just black porridge. I always possess any type of stud attack. This is all for everything as top secret cedar security. That doesn't make any sense either. Stuff is seriously a mess. Looks like we're heading to a forgotten forest. How does how does he say that? Forest. I don't know how the cowardly lion says it. How how over he says it. Let's get on with the uh, chapter six. How will we ever find the queen? Perhaps I can assist. Who are you? Now I'm just a whisker of advice. Trust not your eyes. Everything warps in its place. Even your tiles. Ha! Yeah, yeah. Well, let's get started. You know the drill. slow it down because I just came to the realization I'm building up a house that speaks up for itself building up a house I can't wait to see what it looks like when the uh, when the house implodes or it dies, or I don't know what it's going to be like, but I'm sure it's going to be awesome. Show up I don't die first. This, whole, this house sure packs a punch. I never thought I would be beating up something that I live in. Yeah, no, I spelled diapers wrong. what I thought it was gonna be like. And I'm glad I paused it because I am on the witch. Let's fight this witch. I'm the boss the witch. And I hope she doesn't melt when I attack her with the first one. You cursed rat! Look what you've done! Nope, just poisoned. I know I just couldn't handle it. Hmm. 
Inturo. How about I N T R O? There you go. Oh, Intron? I had no idea that was a word. Can I put media on it? That is a great accidental discovery, and I'm glad I got it on camera. Nice, nice, nice. I'm not sure, but I'm thinking these tiles are going to be the most annoying. Yeah. The rock tiles and the lock tiles are definitely just going to have to, I'm going to have to attack on the three and four letter ones. Okay. <laughs> I never like bones. Apparently, a witch. Well, it looks like I have to come up with a word, and half my titles are not in use. There I go. I don't really like to attack balls with three and four little words. I think that's below me. But when she gets your tiles all in a piece, you kind of are forced to finish what you think. Oh, well, she's dead anyway. It doesn't matter. My level up bar is full and full of potential. New and now I have the gumdrop necklace. Slightly increases gem. That was brutal. Which way now? Simple. Down the rabbit hole. Through the cat <coughs> well, the caterpillar made the day of travels with a smoke and a The caterpillar lawyer. I have the only, uh, I only have Mother Goose right now. I think it has about to change. I'm gonna take the Singing Heart and the Juice Bride Lodge. Zowie, this place is like a wonderland or something. I can't tell what's real and what's an illusion. It looks like I am on a survival battle. Yeah. 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 And the last book of adventures when I was on the survival battles, I did not speed it up. But I'm trying to uh, make this as time efficient as possible. So I am going to speed this up, and I will see you at the Caterpillar when he decides his smoke illusions are defeated.
not a caterpillar. I beat up all of his uh, smoke smoke screens essentially. Yeah. This caterpillar is not nice. I powered down my tiles tiles are shattered. I resisted his stun attack. But damn it, I'm gonna beat him. Go. This is what we're doing. Hmm. I'm gonna need a little help. We don't know exactly how I'm going to get it by just looks, blankly staring at these tiles for just a few minutes and discovering how to beat this guy. getting weirder and weirder. I found a teapot, teacups. I thought maybe I was gonna fight maybe with some tea bags or a tea kettle, but no, the boss is the Mad Hatter. This is essentially an Alice in Wonderland spoof, but without Alice, which... I probably thought I was gonna fight her. I don't know if the creators of this game were on anything when they made it, but this is just really, really weird. It's a lot weirder and more fantasy like in the first game. This game was also a lot easier than the uh, first game. Volume 1, it took me some time to get through it. Volume 2, I'm just mowing through it like nothing. That's about to change in the near future, I know that. of mad history. Just like that. Now I can level up. I have a level 9 bookkeeper. Attack is increased. 
I have a mad hat, I just scramble for a random gift. Be wary, whiskers tingling, peril ahead. I could play a mini game, which I would play a mini game if I had time, but no time. I got my treasures. Oh. Tweedledee. And get started. Scramble. Scramble it. Get a random gift from the mad hat. And once again, the cycle continues. I will see you at what well, maybe it looks like maybe a jabber. Fighting a jabber walk. <clears throat> and uh yeah. my voyage here was almost yeah. over. Excellent. I can't believe that, but I'm on chapter nine and after this is chapter ten, and that's the last chapter, and then I'm on to the next book, which I won't show you the next book in this video. Awesome. <clears throat> it's gonna be one video for each book. And being I'm going to be in Texas the next month, I'm going to try to upload and get these videos done for you. But I'm going to be very busy this next month, and my upload schedule isn't going to be as consistent. I'm spelled right. Dang it. Scramble. Hmm. Sorry for not talking as much. I'm just uh, trying to concentrate here. <clears throat> Sometimes you can't do both. That's what he has for Rob. Blocking my tiles. Anyway, Jabberwock is dead. <coughs> I can level up. I am now a bookbinder. My defense is increased. And I got a new treasure. <laughs> Upgrade City and Harp. Elements and tile effects last one last time. I love that. Good grief. What comes up with his monsters? Lex, I am with you on that one. The people who created the ride drugs. I don't know what they're on, anything but caffeine. But it says, I think we're almost there. Finally, we gotta get some good old fashioned answers. Remember, answers are only questions with funny hats. Then, Socrates, you, uh, you ruined the mood there. It's time to go to the castle, Wonderland. Pick out my treasures. 
excuse me. And, um, uh, it says, Outsider, trespasser, levy taxes on his potions, off with his head. <coughs> so my potions are now going to be taken. Looks like I got a fight fight the deuce. I have a feeling I'm gonna be fighting card characters, play card characters, you know, Jack, King, Queen, Ace. They could either be that or members of the Queen's Palace. Regardless, I'm going to shorten the life of each and every person. Well, see you at the Queen. Enigma, could you get a moment of your time? Dare speak! Clearly you're not worry over your head. Let us remove it. This queen is off her rocker. I don't know. I should just crawl off of a crawl on the wrong side of the bed or the king couldn't satisfy her or something. I don't know. I don't know what's causing this queen to go crazy. But I have a feeling it's more mind control than anything else. Luckily, I'm here to literally beat the mind control out of her. First ten hearts gone. And this is not the first level, but this is. I'm clearly seeing that the bad guy can be powered up more than once. And that is not right. The bad guy should only be powered up once because I can only power myself up once. That just isn't fair. <laughs> but it's more of a challenge. Wow. Excellent. Excellent. Astonishing. But I'm thinking the Queen's attacking days are pretty much over at this point. Those attacks are pretty dang for powerful. But I can counter attack, and that counter attack beat the uh, beat the crazy right out of it. I am now a proofreader, just getting out of chapter uh, chapter ten of uh, book four here. Now I have an increased potion drop. Eat me, drink me. Goodness, it you knocked this knocked me sensible. Glad to help you, Royal Madness. Can I can you tell me what's going on around here? Everything's gone strange since this rift stuff appearing. Look, there's one now. Singular singularity is that's unusual. Could such a thing come from your world I don't know. But I have a palace of donuts when you code access magic pen to fix it. Get back to the great library. I completed book four with 197 words, most of them being six and seven letters. A sprint to the treasure room. Jumping jellies, enable me, some kind of evil X. <clears throat> he stole the pen. Vanish. Rip it, Paul, man! Ah! 
Well, this leaves us to uh, book five, chapter one. Unfortunately, I won't get to this book today. It won't be in the next video. Until next time, my name is just a fun guy. I'm signing off. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Hit that bell icon. Follow me on Facebook and do all that good stuff. I'm signing off. So long, YouTube.